quick video here guys hi happy tuesday to you hope you're all staying warm this crazy temperature swing here is um yeah it's getting me here i wish it was more spring-like but that's okay <laughs> it'll come uh we have just wrapped up uh week five where we looked at lipids and i just finished grading your discussions and just wanted to um, say thank you for that rich discussion and looking at those diets that are considered heart healthy diets. We had um, a lot of Mediterranean diets out there. That's a popular one. Um, the Ornish diet, we had flexitarian, we had the um, Nordic diet, which was a great one. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I hadn't thought about the Nordic diet in a long time and that one's really unique. Um, what else did we have out there? DASH diets, so that one's the dietary approaches to stop hypertension. So that one's a heart healthy diet in that we're re reducing our sodium intake and promoting other potassium rich foods in our diet. Um, what else did we have out there? There was a couple others that you guys mentioned that were great. I appreciate, oh, um, IF, so intermittent fasting. So looking at, um, timed fasting as a method to um, dieting, not necessarily for heart health, but it can be related to heart health. Um, I think, Kat, you posted a YouTube video um, about a doctor that was promoting that as far as um, heart health goes, which was interesting. So I'm going to, I have a couple minutes into that video, but want to keep uh, listening to that. So if either any of you that uh, missed that cat posted a YouTube video about IF intermittent fasting and that how it relates to perhaps heart health. Um, so great topics. Thank you guys for researching those. I think for the most part what can be said about these diets is that they're they're more well-rounded balanced diets as opposed to the opposite spectrum of fad diets out there that uh, don't create a balance and moderation in variety of food intake and are removing things and uh, very uh, strict and abrupt with the way that they're um, incorporating food change. So I think the Mediterranean diet, diet really largely focusing on like a plant base and then incorporating all sorts of good uh, fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, and um, lean sources of protein every once in a while. And then red, red meat, even less frequently having your wine and your exercise and um, all that promoted is definitely um, good for heart health. And a lot of those uh, diets that were mentioned um, say the same things. So um, thank you for that. I am apologizing for the ridiculousness with the New York Times articles. I, I love New York Times and then I post them or find a great article and then no one can access it. So I'm sorry that there's that that's been happening. So note that none of the articles are like imperative. I suppose you could do your own research around uh, the topic at hand. You don't have to use the particular <laughs> article and I'll try to fill in as necessary if those articles you can't access anymore. Um, you used to be able to and I don't, New York Times took that away, which is unfortunate that they've done that because they have good reading material and people should be able to access it. So that's unfortunate. Anyways, we are popping into week six, which looks at protein. So this is also fun. I, I love the macronutrient chapters, if you haven't gotten the gist of that. So I love talking about each of them, why they're important, and why there's such controversy over them, and why some people are like headstrong about protein, but headstrong about not carbohydrates, and headstrong about this type of fat and that type of fat, or eliminating fat. It's all fun and interesting to me because so food is very social, and um, so I think that's an important part about learning about food, right? So if we know what it does and um, how it's digested and how it's absorbed and what its functions are, then we can also um, relate to someone in why they choose it socially, economically, um, because they have dietary restrictions, medical issues, this sort of thing. So 
there's lots that goes into it. Protein is super important for many, many things, and we will learn that in this chapter. Do we overindulge as Americans? Probably so, we do. We eat a lot of protein in this country. There's a lot, a lot of hype around protein. But um, let's see what it's all about. How about that? Okay. I hope you guys have a great week and stay warm. Um, email me with questions as always. I'm here in the background and um, happy to help. So I'll talk to you soon.